колес проткнем. Ёпан. Ёпаный в рот. Кирзач, надо уходить. Что-то железяку оттащить надо. Давай, давай. Вот эту, слева которая. И вот эту, которая с огнем, получится ногой откинуть. Бля, Герзач, там мина лежит, стой. Там мина лежит, ёпта. Где? Вон. Вон мина. Как нам проехать, блядь? Смотри. Где мина -то? Вот. Вот это круглая? Да. Так я ее пинал только что. Точно мину? Да. Бля, я пинал, только что ты не видел? Нет, не видел. Three Russian Shahid drones attacking Ukraine have crossed the Romanian border, the Ukrainian armed forces have reported. The commander of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Air Forces, Nikolai Olshchuk said 25 attack UAVs were shot down over Ukraine on the night leading to July 25. Some 38 drones attacked Izmailsky district in Ukraine's Odessa region over the night, the Ukrainian Air Forces reported. The location of three more Shahid drones could not be identified after crossing the state border with Romania, Olshchuk said. Romanian media showed the aftermath of a drone crash, but it is unclear whether this is the result of yesterday's attack or the attack that took place the day earlier. On Wednesday, an air alert sounded on the Romanian territory bordering Ukraine due to a UAV attack. It should be noted that two people were injured as a result of debris falling on a private house in Odessa. Russians pulled 30 barges under the Crimean Bridge. They are afraid of Ukrainian drones. Russian occupation forces continue to cover the illegally built Crimean Bridge with barges. Their number has increased to 30. This was reported on the social network X by Brady Afrik, a researcher at the Department of Foreign and Defense Policy Studies at the American Enterprise Institute. He also published fresh satellite images showing dozens of barges near the bridge. Russia continues to add barges along the Crimean Bridge, which serve as a barrier against Ukrainian naval drones, the analyst captioned the post. As is known, Ukraine has already attacked the illegally built bridge that connects mainland Russia and occupied Crimea twice. This happened in November 2022 and July 2023. However, the bridge has not been hit since then. As Ukrainian veteran Yevgeny Diki explains, there is no need for this now. It is much better to use the Crimean Bridge as bait and destroy the occupier's air defense, he says. We need them to cover it, and we need to hit these air defense systems. We are now using the Crimean Bridge as bait. We know that as soon as we burn several of their air defense systems in Crimea, they are guaranteed to bring new ones there in two weeks. The S-300s are gone, the S-400s are coming and even the S-500s. We are essentially using Crimea as a big meat grinder for their air defense. Because the Crimean Bridge is sacred and everything else is 8,200 miles of emptiness, as their group Aquarium sings, sorry there is nothing to cover it with. And that is why their defense plants and energy infrastructure are burning, Dicky explained. Recently, Ukrainian forces have seriously damaged a ferry in occupied Crimea, which was being used by Russian forces to transport military equipment 
The general staff of Ukraine's armed forces said the apparent destruction of Russia's last railway ferry, Slavyanin, in port Kavkaz, took place as Ukraine launched a major aerial attack on Putin's forces for the second night in a row in the early hours yesterday, targeting occupied Crimea using at least 21 drones. Ukrainian forces have hinted that they have already identified a next target in the region without providing more details. The attacked port is barely 11 miles from Kirsch in Crimea, which connects the occupied peninsula with Russia. Meanwhile, Russian forces have built a new military base just 200 kilometers from the active front line an investigation has found. The military base is located between a penal colony and two half-built secondary schools on the site of another abandoned military facility in Rostov City, analysis of satellite images showed.